Hello and welcome to Books of Blood. My name is John and today, first things first, I want to apologize if my voice sounds a little bit rough. Uh, the change in the weather and stuff is kind of messing with my sinuses. So um, I'm a little bit stopped up. So if I sound funny or sound different, I, I apologize for that. So please bear with me, all right? Uh, so anyway, I'm going to be doing a book review for the horror anthology in Darkness Delight, Masters of Midnight. And this is edited by Andrew Lennon and Evans Light. And I do believe they both have short stories in the collection. All right. Uh, this was sent to me in exchange for an honest review from Corpus Press. Uh, I wrote the guys, I wrote them at Corpus Press, and I asked them, I said, hey, I'm really interested in reading some of your books. Could you please send me some, and I will uh, give them, uh, review them, honest reviews on my channel. So they sent me three books, and this, of course, was one of them. All right, so that being said, I'm going to go ahead and tell you about three of the stories that I liked in the book, or in the collection, and then I'll kind of give you my thoughts on the book, or the uh, uh, the collection overall. All right, so here we go. Uh, first up, the very first story is one I really enjoyed. It's called Who Are You? by Ryan Thomas. And it's about this guy that, uh, he's an older fella. He lives alone, keeps to himself, but he keeps seeing these three, maybe four different people that, uh, one of them is this tall guy in a fedora. Uh, one of them is a little girl uh, in a, I believe she's in a, a yellow dress. I can't remember if it's yellow or pink, but I think it's yellow. And then the other one is this old lady uh, in a green, uh, ugly, kind of ugly green dress. All right. And every time he sees these people, they're really weird. And they, when they smile at him, they have these big horse teeth. And he just thinks there's something really off, really weird about them. And basically the, what the story is about is about how people... It kind of reminded me of this uh, song by Tom Waits. And if you've never heard this song, look it up on YouTube because it is creepy as hell. All right? And it's called What's He Building in There? Uh, and it's basically about how this story and the song are basically about how people have these kind of preconceived notions about people who keep to themselves, who... You know, they don't really come out to associate with anyone. So, yeah, that's one. Of, that's the reason I liked it so much. So, yeah, there is that one. That is Who Are You? Uh, next one, another one that I liked was Violet. And this is by Jason Parent. Uh, I, I think it's Parent. Is it pa Parent or Parent? I'm going to say Parent. All right. Uh, it's about this guy that uh, he's pretty much lost his family. Uh, his daughter, his wife, he's lost lost everything. Uh, I believe his daughter uh, died in a car accident, uh, and then his wife passed away, so he's got nobody, all right? Except he has this um, little corgi dog, and he named the dog Violet after his daughter. Uh, the dog is getting up in years. She's arthritic, and basically what the story is about it is a kind of a tale of revenge, because I don't really want to spoil the story, but the dog dies. I'm sorry to say the dog dies in the story. There's no way around it. But it's just what he does after the dog uh, dies. And I'm not going to tell you how the dog dies. So there you go. I don't want to do that either because I already feel like I've spoiled a lot of the story. And I don't like to do that. Um, but yeah, it's, uh, it's a pretty neat little tale of payback, revenge, whatever you want to call it. Uh, very short one too. It's only probably about uh, seven pages, maybe eight pages. So there you go. And finally, the last story in the book is, hang on a minute, let me get to the thing so I'll know that I, this is kind of a long title, all right? So hang on one second here. 1,000 Words on a Tombstone, Dolores Ray, and this is by Josh Mallerman, who of course wrote the, um, uh, of course wrote uh, Bird Box, uh, Unbury Carol, uh, what was the one he wrote, Institute, I believe it was called? Uh, anyway, this is exactly what it says it is. It is the entire thing, as you can see, is like in the shape of a tombstone. And it is 1,000 words on a tombstone. It's about this girl who lived in the 1700s uh, named Dolores Ray. And one day she encounters this witch known as the Blue Hag. And uh, 
basically this the 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 thousand words on the tombstone are her epitaph of course um one thing I found funny about this was a thousand words, and I got to thinking, I thought, I would really hate, because back then, they had to, you know, they had to do it, chisel it, do it by hand and stuff, and I thought, wow, you know, back in the 1700s, I would really have hate to have been the undertaker or whoever it is that takes care of putting the words on the tombstones and stuff, because, I mean, he had to have been just cussing up and down, having to do this a thousand words across. I, I just thought, I mean, I mean, they didn't do that for real, I mean, but I just thought, oh, that would be really freaking funny. But yeah, those are three of the stories that I enjoyed in this collection. But overall, um, other, other than that, other overall, and I'm going to give this one a three and a half star rating. I give it three stars on Goodreads, rounded up to 3.5. Um, and the only reason is because those three stories kind of stood out to me, but the rest of them, I'm not saying they were bad stories, but they just kind of just were like three-star stories, just a flat line of three-star stories right across the board. You know, nothing else stood out to me. You know, I didn't sit there and go, I, now I didn't sit there with any of these stories and go, ah, oh, these are, ah, oh, this is crap. Oh, good God, what, who wrote this shit or whatever, anything like that. But like I said, the story is just kind of, the rest of the story is just kind of flatlined. I mean, it's kind of like, you know, you had the beginning like, boop, 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 boop. That's what I got out of these stories. It's just, that's what I got. And I really hate that because I really wanted to, I wanted to like this book. I did like it. Okay, three and a half, that means I did like it. I just didn't love it. All right? Uh, I didn't even love the stories that I picked out as standouts. They weren't they weren't ones that I'm going, oh my gosh, these are great stories. No, I didn't do that. Sorry. Uh, so yeah, that is my really odd, strange review of In Darkness, Delight, Masters of Midnight. Um, before I go, as you can see, I have got a new intro to my channel. Added a little bit of music, a little bit of animation to it. Uh, let me know, let me, you guys let me know what you think about it. Uh, I have shown it to a couple of people and they really enjoyed it. Uh, one person thought that it could have been a little bit darker. All right. And that's fine. I respect her opinion. So, and she's awesome. I'm not going to say who it is because I don't want anybody going, how could you hate this or something like that? And, you know, but I don't want, want people doing that to her because I've got a lot of respect for her. All right. Uh, so anyway, that's it. That is my review of In Darkness Delight, Masters of Midnight. It is Friday. It is the weekend. This is going to post on Saturday at around 2.30 in the afternoon. Until then, have fun out there and stay safe. Thank you.